Now, hey, okay, uh, this is going to be the video commentary for the song Don't Talk to Me. Um, I love this song, so I'm probably going to talk a lot because there's a good story and I just have a lot to say about it because I really dig it. Um, first of all, again, love this song. Um, oh my gosh, so happy. So, uh, let me tell you the story of how this song was born. That's probably the best place to start. Uh, we owe this song to Chris Loopy Swan. Like, that's, that's, this is his, this is, I, I very, I very rarely co-write. We didn't even really co-write in the traditional sense, anyway, but, um, it was his, his original idea that, that, his nugget that birthed this, this song. So, alright, so Chris Loopy Swan. So, uh, he's a guy, um, you know, I play piano, I, 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 for a living. Uh, for a few years I played in the Midwest. Uh, me and Loopy, uh, that's what we call him, Loopy, um, we were doing a gig in uh, JB's Piano Bar in Joplin, Missouri. Um, so we showed up and we were doing the sound check there. And uh, he was on the piano, I was on the drums, and we're just getting like the, the level set. You know, we're just going like, okay, does that sound good? Turn him up, you know, okay, we got that. And you got to play something um, while you're doing that, just so you can set the level. So, uh, he just started playing, he just started playing the groove, you know, dun, 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 dun. so he's playing B minor and just singing, don't ride me, don't call me, and I was, mm, dun, uh, and so I started putting the harmony on top of him, just, don't ride me, don't call me, and it just felt really good, it felt, it felt really good, I was like, that was cool, man, so, um, and that was a while ago, so we got off stage, and we're just kind of sitting there hanging out, I'm like, what was that, man, what was that, he's like, I don't know, I'm like, that was really cool. Like, that was really cool. We should, you, you, should, you should make some of that someday. He's like, yeah, I think I will. Um, and then, like, a year went by and nothing. And then another year went by <laughs> and nothing. But that little that little hook would stick in my brain. Every now and then, I'd, I'd find myself like, don't rap me, don't call me. I was like, I liked it a lot. So it just, it just hung in there. And he just made it up out of nowhere. So it's one of those things. So when I was putting the sauce together for uh, the perspective record, um, I was kind of looking at what I had to deal with and looking at the songs, and I was going, well, I could use this, and I got too many songs. I took a couple songs out. I was like, that's just like this one, and whatever. And I was like, I need something else. I need a couple other kinds of songs to fit in here. And that uh, idea of Loopy's kind of sprang to mind. Um, so I, I called him up, and I was like, hey, man, remember that thing? Remember that thing at, at, at JB's? Can I work on that? Do you mind if I work on that? And he was he was all for it, man. He was very, very cool about it. And it was actually funny. I think he dug up a notebook and took a picture of his notebook and sent it to me, like, of his little notes, because he was going to get to that someday. And, um, but I started working on the piano, and, um, I just was going in this direction. So, I took that hook, and I started taking it in, um, <clears throat> in the direction of Toto, as best I can, being being who I am. But I love I love Toto, love Toto. And I started messing with this groove, and I started doing this. And I'm like, okay, now I hear like brass, and now I hear, and I just, I'm just gonna full on embrace my my Toto love, and do the best I can to kind of recreate like Pamela and um, what's that other song? Cruel. Uh, that's more of an album cut. Um, but I was basically just trying to make a Toto song out of that. Um, idea that, that that Loopy had, and I'm so grateful. And I just wrote the words. I mean, he had he had, he wrote the chorus, and I was like, well, I need something to support that. How about just a big screw you song? Like I can do that. That's easy. That's <laughs> simple. Um, so Loopy deserves all the credit in the world. This song would never exist without him. I've gotten so much positive feedback from this song. I'm actually a a, a little bit. Uh, a little bit like, come on, it's the only co-write I have, and this is all I keep hearing about. Uh, that's how good uh, Loopy is. Um, and then the production, uh, I'll tell you what, I sat, actually I sat in this room, and I spent, I've spent more time recording that song than anything I've ever spent recording. I just, over and over, I, like, there's a lot of stuff going on in that song for me, and I, it, I spent a lot of time. You guys don't need to know that, but I mean, I just, I just, but I was excited. It was a new thing, and I was like, "This is." I was very happy about it. So, uh, anyway, I hope you like the song. There's a lot. Um, there's a lot going on in it. I tried to make the bridges interesting. I tried to make the chords interesting. The voicings of some of the stuff I'd really worked on to try to make a little. You know, like Toto. They Toto's. They're not. <laughs> they're amazing. So um, that's kind of the story of how that song came to be. Uh, we owe Chris Loopy for that and. Um, that's all, man. I'm incredibly proud of that song, and I don't know if I'll ever get a chance to write something like quite like that again, but um, I'm grateful for it. So thank you, Loopy, and thank you guys for listening. And um, I think that's all I got. All right. Yeah, that's all. All right. Take care.